For this year's trip back to the Philippines, we decided that we'd take a trip to Corona and see what it was all about, having seen a lot of YouTube videos etc on the place and it looks very interesting and we're into our snorkeling. So after booking the flights and arriving in Corona after the first night, we booked a tour on one of the boats with Echo Tour tours here's the brochure and proceeded to go to the docks onto our boat there were another three couples with us which was quite comfortable on the boat and then we proceeded to go to our first spot which was CYC Island This island is basically just a small beach cove with a sandy bottom with weed and a reef out a bit further that you can swim to and have a dive around. Um, don't take any notes of the date stamp on the video here because the camera was not set up for the date. The reef wasn't too bad. Um, some nice colourful corals in the areas. Uh, it was a bit sparse, but it was shallow and quite a relaxing dive with a large amount of area to have a look around. Fish life though was fairly scarce, which was a little bit of a disappointment. One of the biggest things I was hoping for on this whole tour is we come across a turtle. So our next trip was to see the Picatos. Oh, this is the marine reserve that is just east, east of Corona's uh, town itself. And here's an aerial view. We proceeded to go for another dive. The water wasn't so clear while we were down there, but it was the end of the uh, wet season in late August. Uh, this area was a little bit more colourful, uh, a bit more fish life. Although nothing large, just your usual coral fish. But again, unfortunately, the turtles were elusive and we didn't get to see any. Which was a shame. It was one of the things I was hoping for on the whole dive. But we spent quite a reasonable amount of time here. The boat's tour didn't seem to be overly rushed and it was quite relaxed. And we were having a good time, so... All in all, very good so far. From there, we then proceeded to head up to another area uh, of the island, um, heading towards Canyon Lake, but to, uh, I've got to remember the name, hang on a minute, uh, it should pop up any minute after this. Uh, Hidden Lagoon, of course. Into Hidden Lagoon. It's just a little cove in amongst the island with a nice sandy bottom and a platform where you could actually go and sit and relax and have a swim, uh, snorkel around a bit amongst the mangroves if you wanted to. There's a bit of a like, uh, small reef. Right, like. we're at Hidden Lagoon. And someone's actually got on the water faster than me for a change. <laughs> Water, as you can see, is, is pretty clear. The rock formations are incredible. And here we have one of the chocolate starfish that seem to be all over the sandy bottom there for some reason. Not sure why. Then we proceeded to Kalachi Beach. I think my pronunciation on that is a little bit wrong. Where they had these nice little huts set up and the larger hut there is where we had our lunch. And they really laid it on. 
it was real nice lunch and it was all included in the tour as well as the bottles of water so we couldn't complain one bit about that we had a great time sitting there and just out from there is a rock day class is the coral eden where we anchored after lunch a bit of a rest and we were given the leftover rice which we fed the fish with there was a lot of colorful fish there and it was a reasonably interesting dive a little bit of current which kept floating you away from the rock and it was pretty deep off the side so you had to keep swimming a little bit but it was a very interesting dive the corals were not too bad um, I proceeded to swim around the rock and look over the ledges etc which we'll be coming up to shortly in the video which is a bit hard to distinguish where I'm showing going over the ledges but uh, I couldn't see the bottom so I have no idea how deep it was off the side I was hopeful of seeing a few bigger fish but um, as with all the snorkeling we've done in the Philippines so far I have yet to see anything in the way of a startlingly big fish I think it's been pretty well hit with fishermen and they're just not prolific anymore. The smaller coral fish, there's quite a few around, including in classic clownfish. And yeah, this uh, was a reasonably interesting dive. The water was lovely, warm, a little bit murky, but uh, by standards, to uh, New Zealand and it's just about crystal clear <laughs> we don't quite get that clarity of water that you get over in the islands mainly because over here you don't have the corals and stuff it's uh, they're usually sand and there's hill runoff etc into the ocean and I'll just let the video go here for a while so you can see the rest of the dive before we move on Oh, by the way, this is the first time I actually had a chance to um, play with the Supremo 4K underwater and I learned a little bit more about how to shoot and unfortunately my shooting here is not top quality and from what I've seen and what I've played back I've learned quite a bit, a bit more about uh, how to use it. So next it was off to Canyon Lake. But with the tour that we booked, we didn't actually have to pay any further fees for the whole time we were there. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. We just simply landed, 
We went ashore here and then walked up and over. Oh, here's your classic uh, Instagram shot. It was a bit windy that day, unfortunately. It's a bit hard to say. We walked up over and down into the other side where there was the uh, this hidden lagoon part. I'm not too sure of the name of that. Where you could have a swim in that. It's mandatory. You have to wear life jackets. Apparently there's been a couple of drownings. I don't understand why either. It's as calm as in here, but anyway, it happens. So they've enforced wearing life jackets. And then we came back and over for the boats and uh, walked along the boardwalk here, which goes out and around for quite a way. And look into the water around here, where you, the water was quite clear here. You could see quite a lot, and it was a very interesting sort of walk. As I say, we were at the uh, end of the wet season and just here we were nearly ready to board and go back to uh, Caron when we were hit by a humongous rainstorm. So we had to sit it out for a while before we left and the trip back across was slightly choppy and we all got a little wet. That was sort of an added excitement to the trip. All in all, the tour was excellent. I had a great day out, and I think at the price it was it was excellent value for what we got. And I recommend anyone coming to go to them and book that tour and and try it at least once anyway. And that was through the uh, Quran Echo Tours, which were in eleven Augustine Street, if I remember rightly. Now don't trust Google Maps to find your way there. It puts that uh, number 11 way down the end of the road when it is actually up the top of the road. So here we just have a couple of rock formations that were prominent as we were leaving. And we're back now at Corone Pier. There's uh, hundreds of boats here. Hundreds. The next day we decided we go to, to McQuinnett Pools. Prior to that, we'd been thinking about high on the motorboat, but we took a tricycle to here. And these were quite interesting, very uh, unique, extremely hot actually. Uh, I think it was 40 degrees they ran at, but the area was quite beautiful. And you could walk out around the mangroves, have a look around out there. Quite unique. But as you can see, just the two of us, I think there was two people before us, maybe three, and then there was only one other person at the time we were there, so well, hardly anybody at all. It was an entry fever, I can't remember what that was. Then we went back to the town, and unfortunately, the town is always this, there's tricycles going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all day long. The fumes from those are horrendous. It actually affected my sinuses and it was uh, I couldn't quite handle it. This actually put a bit of a dampener on because the town itself is not in a very good state. The roads of McKinnick Pools was just absolutely nearly a four-wheel drive track and that put us off hiring a motorbike to go and uh, look at the rest of the island. Quite disappointing. <laughs> 